what's going on, everyone? It's Jody here, your Wednesday host for Self Teammate. I'm glad to be back for another Wednesday evening with you all. Welcome to my room once again. Um, I did a video in my uh, last week's video in my room, and so here we are once again. So let's jump into this week's topic, which is trans role models or role models in general. And so, regardless if someone is trans or if they're cis, um, the role models that I look up to inspire me, and they challenge me. They challenge my ways of thinking and ways of approaching certain things. And so some of those people that have inspired me have been really close friends. And some people you may already know, regardless if you appreciate their perspectives or what they're all about, is one thing. But um, they've inspired me in some way such as like Aiden Dowling before um, he became more well-known within the community and more publicly on a national level. Um, he inspired me. Skylar Clevin, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Um, I started watching his YouTube videos when I was in Iraq. I was about 25 and um, he inspired me to keep pushing and to strive for what I wanted and which was to transition when I got out of the military. Um, there is another guy that's named Ty, and he doesn't make YouTube videos anymore. It's been about seven years I looked up on YouTube since he's made one. Try Ram, I think that's how you say his YouTube name. He doesn't make YouTube videos anymore, and he's taken all of his down, which is very, very unfortunate because he inspired me um, that he was about around the same age I was when he first started transitioning, I do believe, if I remember so, or close to that. And so he kind of inspired me to, there was never an age limit on when I could start being my authentic self, that I could start living the life that I always wanted to live. And then there was like, ton, there was a few other numerous um, individuals that had just a website or their personal websites that they documented their transition and they never made YouTube videos. And they inspired me as well to always challenge myself, keep pushing forward and never get complacent. But one person that really helped me um, that has nothing to do with the trans community is my friend Becca. And she just recently learned within the last like three to six months that she inspired me and challenged me the most out of any person I could ever know in my life. And the reason being is that she sat me down in Salt Lake City at the airport when I was dropping her off and she looked me in my face and said, that I was just being complacent, um, that she knew that I had given up on transitioning in, in Idaho, where we lived at the time and where I currently live. And I looked her in the face, I said, yeah, I've had to kind of reevaluate where I'm at. I'm getting older and I want to start transitioning, but I've given up because the therapist that I know about had hasn't returned my phone call and so I had just given up I had just settled and started socially transitioning and then I figured my physical transition would unfortunately have to come after school and she told me that I shouldn't give up and that I didn't need to be complacent and that I needed to keep pushing forward and keep trying until I found somebody in the community to help me if that's what I really wanted sooner rather than later and with those words and her kind of igniting something in me, I said, you're right, I shouldn't give up, I should keep pushing forward, and I did. And I actually asked one of my friends that was in the counseling program or getting ready to go in the counseling program at the university that I go to and that she was going to at the time and kind of networked through her to find me a therapist and to find me a doctor. And so it kind of just, after that fell into place, and then three months later, two, three months later, I actually started hormones. And so that was really awesome. And she really challenged me and she still challenges me on things that I say and do. And another one of my friends that does that, well, actually two, Sam that actually is on the channel challenges me to kind of take a step back at times when I'm too involved in something and kind of take a look at it from other perspectives. And then my friend Jessica, which is Sam's partner. Um, also does that for me and keeps me in line sometimes when I let my mouth run away with me. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. And then other people that have helped me realize that I could be a role model for others have 
been within the last year and giving me a platform to help my community out in regards to being able to bring about trans awareness on a much smaller scale than Aiden and Laverne Cox and Janet Mock. And those three individuals inspire me to, even though what I'm doing is on a smaller scale than what they have done, it's still important to do. And they have reminded me of that over the last couple of years as I have put myself out there, put my transition out there online at school, even before I transitioned, the first time I put myself out there, I was actually pre-T um, on, on the college campus, on the university campus I go to, and I was scared out of my mind. Um, but nothing really has happened. Um, no one's ever walked up to me and said anything crazy. No one's ever threatened my life. No one's ever threatened my family. And that's what I worry about the most, putting myself out there, is that something's going to happen to my family. I don't care if anything happens to me. It's on my family I worry about the most. But everyone has always accepted me and given me nothing but positive vibes and good feedback. And I started talking to high school students that needed someone to talk to and to see somebody that has, in their community that they live in, be successful and be trans. Um, and it has been amazing. And I appreciate everyone that has allowed me to be other people's role models. And I hope that I continue to do that and inspire people to keep pushing forward. Um, regardless of where they're at and what they're doing. And those are some of the people that have inspired me. So if you have any questions, let me know, and I will get back to you. Otherwise, I will see you guys next week. All right? Peace.